Okay, what's up everyone? So I am currently at my shop right now. I just got to work. I'm like, I have a little bit of free time. Oh, ah, crap. Hold on. Hello, I from repair. Okay, back. So like I was saying, I decided um, I could make a quick little video on your care for your boa constrictor. So I'm gonna do this fast. I'm gonna try to keep this quick. So basically, as long as you have these three things, you should be good, okay? You're gonna have a cool side of 75 to 80 degrees. That's gonna be your cool side, okay? For me, this is my this is my setup cage. I have uh, it's five feet long by two and a half feet by 16 16 inches high. So basically, this side is my cool side over here. It stays pretty cool over there. That side stays between 75 to 80 degrees. Um, you're gonna have a hot spot of 90 to 95 degrees. That's gonna be for me right here. Um, there's different type of heat sources that you can use we'll go over that right now uh, so you're gonna have cool side 75 80 hot spot 90 to 95 your humidity is gonna be between 40 and 70 percent for an ideal number let's just say 60 percent that's gonna be our our ideal number our goal um, when they're in shed then that's when you want to raise your humidity level okay so once you see them going blue and their skin kind of has that milky uh, look to it raise that humidity um, try go up to 90 percent or higher you know just get miss them down twice a day three times a day whatever it takes for you guys so there's different type of enclosures i do not care what kind of enclosure you're working with as long as you are consistent on these three things your cool side hot spot humidity that's all that matters okay so your type of enclosures uh, most common ones are going to be glass tank melamine uh, pvc rack systems i have melamine for my larger boas and then I have the rack system for the, uh, for the smaller, the, um, the babies and the sub-adults. Your must-haves, so I put right here for a must-haves. You must have water at all times in your enclosure, okay? Um, a hide for your snake, so that way they feel secure, they feel comfortable, um, feel confident in, in themselves. And most importantly, a thermostat or some type of controller to control your heat source. You cannot just go ahead and stick a heat lamp in your cage or a heat pad or a radiant heat panel or heat rope, whatever you have to use for heat. Um, you cannot just stick it in there and plug it in and leave it on all day long. It will overheat, your snake will get too hot and it most likely will die or some type of damage will happen to that snake that's not healthy. Um, so you need some type of way to control that heat. The way that I have my thermostat, I have it set for 80 degrees. Um, that gives me a hot spot on my melamine for 90 to 95 because I have heat transfer going on, which is cool for me. Some people, you know, they may, they may not like it, but for me it works fine. When I take a temperature gun and read that hot spot, it's always between 90, 90, to, 90 to 95. And that cool spot is always between like, it's usually around like 80 degrees right there. So it's totally cool for me. That's what works for me. Type of uh, thermostat or controller that I have is the Herpstat 2. That's what I use. Um, you guys feel free to use any type of controller, any type of thermostat, just as long as you have one. Very, very important. Okay. In conclusion, I feel like I'm doing a, a report now. <laughs> as long as you have a cool side of 75 to 80 degrees, a hot spot between 90 and 95, your humidity levels between 40 and 70 percent, and then raise it up when they're shedding. Your must-haves, water, hide, and a thermostat or controller. And that's going to be it for this little, uh, this little video. Um, I hope you guys found this informative. If I'm missing out on some things, um, feel free to comment down below. That way everyone could read them as well. I'm not the only one watching these. You know, other people are watching as well. And it's always good to have um, extra input on this. I will be doing another video probably when I go home as well and show you guys my setups, how I have them set up and everything. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.